So some of you guys requested to do a grocery haul at a regular grocery store. So we're here at the in downtown Boston. They don't know that we're filming here, so we're gonna kind of be slick. Um, so yeah, so we're here in the produce aisle. Um, so pretty much anything here is fair game. Um, if you can afford organic, cool. If you can't, no big deal. Avoid berries if you can't afford organic. Other than that, um, let's go see how much some of the kale is. Perfect, you have kale, it's inexpensive. Go ahead, you can use it in smoothies, you can saute it. Um, this is a regular grocery store and they have kale. Celery right here, bok choy, and um, some nice collard greens and beets, and this is all good stuff, so load up on this stuff. For your salads, go ahead, grab some tomatoes, those will be good. All you need, all I do really for salads is get some tomatoes, some onions, maybe cucumber and lettuce, and you're good. So here we have some of our tomatoes. We'll go get the lettuce, some onion, and uh, so yeah, so you can either get the lettuce like this, or you can buy it already packaged. So let's go over to the packaged lettuce. One of my favorite things are sprouts. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, but sprouts are great to put in your sandwiches. So if you don't have time in the morning to chop up veggies to put in with your cold cuts, uh, sprouts are a great filler uh, to use instead of lettuce and you can kind of avoid the whole washing process. Here are some of the lettuces. I love Olivia's Organic. That's local to Boston. Um, but also you can just get the regular kind. They usually have good sales. Moving on, uh, salad dressing. So I like to buy my salad dressings in this area. Um, some of my favorites are the yogurt kind. I love the Marie's yogurt. I always like to get a bag of carrots as well and some hummus, great snack. You can buy carrots anywhere. You can buy hummus anywhere for that matter too. All right, so let's go, let's continue. Nuts, almonds, walnuts, great for snacks on the go. So there's always something on sale with hummus, so go ahead, pick your favorite flavor. I really like the red pepper or the spinach and artichoke. Also, my new thing is getting a tabbouleh salad and just putting this, a scoop of hummus, um, and some pepitas, which are actually pumpkin seeds, into um, the salad. It's amazing. Add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. If you need it, you might not. Um, but these Mediterranean salads are delicious. Cedars also has these fun little to-go packets where you can get hummus and some chips, portion controlled. If you're short on time when it comes to dinner, you can always go ahead and buy stuff that's already frozen and cooked. Um, they've got already grilled chicken breasts by Tyson or Purdue. Um, Genio turkey burgers are great. I'm also a huge fan of Bell and Evans. That's actually probably my go-to choice is Bell and Evans, um, the grilled chicken breast. Um, they, my, as my mom always said, they have nice chickens. They treat their kitchen, their chickens nicely. Um, and then of course there's obviously the other meat section. I like to do ground turkey, make little turkey meatloaves, obviously chicken. I do a lot of fish. Um, and so yeah, so let's go now over to the other side of the store. This is where I do all my shopping. So if you don't have time to make homemade oatmeal, I like these little Oat Revolution by um, Better Oats. Um, they have no added sugars, six grams of protein, 130 calories per packet, and it's made with whole grain rolled oats, flaxseed, and salt. This is on sale for a dollar, and there are five servings in this. That's pretty darn cheap. Um, my roommate likes this flavor, but this one has a little bit added sugar, 14 grams, so I prefer to stick to the original. Go ahead and add your own stevia. Um, but there's also, you can just get regular plain oats, but if you really want a kind to go, I would highly suggest these ones, but I'm gonna buy this for my roommate. All right. Oh, here, here are the McCann quick cooking. This is the kind I buy for me. I eat this kind. This is more of the whole foodie area. Um, so here we have uh, sugar-free, so delicious coconut milk. I love this. You guys also know I like almond milk and you can get it here. And you can also get um, little little to-go ones. So if you wanna bring some milk to work or maybe you don't need a lot, you don't drink a lot all at once, you can buy little to-go ones. So those are awesome to have here. Um, oh look, they have kombucha here now. I didn't know that, that's awesome. Kombucha's good stuff. Frozen veggies, you can't go wrong. I always try to have a ton of frozen veggies in the um, freezer. And so here, broccoli's a good one. Spinach, kale if they have it. Um, garden blends, anything. Stock up your freezer with fruits and veggies. Oh, oh, here are the Mom's Best. These are really good. If you wanna get some uh, cereal, these Mom's Best Naturals, they have these pretty much everywhere now. This actually used to be the three sisters, or the two sisters, um, but I really like theirs. They're known for making typical high sugary cereals, 
into lower sugar um, using whole grain cereals. Um, so I really like that. So one of my favorite things are these Ezekiel English muffins. I love these. These cinnamon raisin Ezekiel English muffins, you can get them at a lot of grocery stores. You can find them in the freezer section. So these are super good. I also love buying the Ezekiel bread here. If they don't have Ezekiel bread, I'm also a big fan of Booties. It's gluten-free bread. You don't have to necessarily leave it in the freezer when you get home, but keep it in the fridge because it is perishable. It's gonna go bad quicker than your regular uh, bread would. And then you can also, some people like frozen veggies. They're not bad. I'm sorry, frozen waffles. I used to have frozen waffles. They're good with like some peanut butter or something. They're good. Ooh, what are these? These are fun. I love to just explore and see what the new foods are. Oh, and here are the regular, these are the other kinds of oatmeal I get, the old fashioned. I buy those a lot. So I buy a lot of bars, you guys know this. Um, some of my favorites right now are the Luna Fibers. They're on sale for a dollar. I love these things, they're so stinking good. Um, I also really like the Luna Protein. The peanut butter, or the cookie dough is my favorite right here. They're all on sale. So again, people are like, Try going shopping at a regular grocery store. These brands are all carried here. So I really like those. Um, I also like Think Thin, which are over here. I love the Kind Low Sugar, which I recently said, told you guys about. I don't know if I see them here yet. Yeah, here they are. Only five grams of sugar. So for those of you guys that love peanut butter like me, um, you wanna pick a brand that doesn't have any extra ingredients. So this is like Teddy. Literally, the ingredients are just roasted peanuts. So that's a great choice. I love Teddy. Um, you know, see, even when you do Skippy, it's got sugar and palm oil. Um, so you really want to be careful when you look at the ingredients to make sure that it's just peanuts. They carry Justin's here as well, except Justin's has added organic palm fruit oil. So, you know, go to, just get the Teddy's. It's cheaper. Um, I'm sure your grocery store has it. Little mini baby bells, perfect for snacking. You guys know I love my laughing cow. And also, you can go ahead and pick up some light cream cheese for your morning snacks. And also, cream cheese is a great ingredient for different recipes. And then also in this aisle, we've also got eggs, egg whites for breakfast. Deliciousness. Um, I try to buy organic free range. You eat what the food that you're eating eat. So you wanna make sure that the chickens are being fed nicely and eating a good meal. And Shobani just came out with these recent bites. I don't see them here. Oh my gosh, they do. These things are freaking to die for. I have to buy them. Coffee with chocolate. These are so good. And this is one of my favorite things about these places. And this is one of the things you can't get at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods is the Emerald 100 Calorie Packs. They're really good. They have cocoa roasted, cinnamon roast, um, then they have all natural. These are all 100 calorie packs. They're awesome to satisfy cravings. They're really good. I'm a big fan of them and they're portion controlled. So that's what I like about these kind of conventional grocery stores. They do sometimes have packages like this that you can't get at Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. That about wraps it up. So we're gonna go, we're gonna pay. And um, so yeah, so if you guys are interested in exactly the items that we featured today, click the link down below to everything that we got here. Try to shop the perimeter of the store um, and uh, if there's an item here that you don't have at your grocery store, you can always go ahead and recommend that they carry it. Um, brands love that. Um, so yeah, so let me know what you thought. Did I miss one of your favorite foods down below? Let me know. 85% less than regular peanut butter. So what you do is you add two tablespoons to one tablespoon of water. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. And so you have it and then you stir it. So you add two tablespoons of the powder.